If you are tired of always being called the shy guy or the nice guy because nice guys finish last, then stick with me because I'm going to give you 10 simple ways that you can bring out your inner alpha male and approach women and dating with more confidence than you've ever had before. Renee Slansky for The Attractive Man and it's my job as your dating and relationship coach to help bring out the best in you so that you don't fall behind or miss out on all the good girls. Let's face it, some men are born natural alphas, why others need to learn to become one. I believe that in every single man out there, there is a leader waiting to surface. And if you've been labeled a nice guy or a shy guy, then you know what? You're actually in luck because whilst women want to date a confident leader, they also want to date a guy that has a good heart. So let's not waste any more time and jump into those 10 tips straight away. Number 10, practice the approach. An alpha male is typically a male who knows how to come across as confident, especially when he's approaching women. Now, if you have absolutely no idea on how to approach women, then watch our other video called How to Approach Women by our scale coaches. The link for that is going to be in the description below and that is part one of your homework. But essentially, a good way to build confidence in this area of your life with approaching women is through preparation and practice. And here's why. Most of the time, we don't have confidence about something because we have a lack of certainty around who we are, what our value is, or what we should even do in that situation. This is where preparation is key. Preparation is essentially learning what you need to do whilst also affirming who you are and where you're currently at. This will start to rewire your brain to believe that you have what it takes in that moment. Plus, if you're educated on knowing how to talk to women, what you should say to women, how to escalate a conversation, then you're going to have a little bit more certainty when you actually do have to approach a woman. The next step is simply putting all of that into practice. As the saying goes, practice makes perfect. Now, approaching a woman with alpha male qualities is about coming across as confident, but also making her feel safe at the same time. And one of the simplest ways that you can do this is smile and make eye contact with her, see what her response is, and then actually move forward. If you get halfway and then start second guessing yourself and kind of falter and then change directions, then you have put yourself in the shy guy box straight away. So to avoid this indecision or this lack of confidence, assess the situation first. Her response will always be the biggest indication of what you should do next. Now, if you want to know my next nine tips that are going to help bring out the alpha male within you, then I need you to click the subscribe button right now and give me a big thumbs up. Number nine, look sharp. A big part of why women are actually drawn to alpha male is because they know how to put themselves together. This includes style and also how they hold themselves. A man who is able to dress really well, and when I say well, I don't necessarily mean expensive, but he knows how to present himself in a way that he looks classy, that he looks confident, and maybe even a little bit more authoritative, that is a man that is going to turn heads. If you are sloppy with your appearance, then chances are women are going to think that you're sloppy in other areas of your life or that you're just not willing to put effort in or maybe you don't have any sort of self-respect. So guys, get to know how to dress and style yourself. I can guarantee you if you were to put two men of equal status and looks in a room and one was dressed kind of really sloppy or dorky and the other one was just dressed, you know, maybe even smart casual with a nice jumper and pant and belt, chances are the women are going to be more drawn to the man that has actually taken more care with his appearance. And if you are struggling with this area of your life, don't necessarily feel that you have to go out and hire a stylist. Allocate some time and maybe a budget to it, maybe go and revamp your wardrobe, but get some ideas from men's styling accounts on Instagram or GQ magazine or even Pinterest. And what I will also do is I will put in the description below a link to some of our other styling videos from our coaches here at The Attractive Man. Number eight, workout. Okay, so this has two benefits. The first is working out will essentially help enhance your physical appearance and it will also boost your endorphins and make you feel better about yourself. 
The second thing is, is it will boost the levels of testosterone in your body, which is what typically alpha males have more of. And the truth is, have you ever met an alpha male that didn't do some sort of physical activity regularly? Now, you don't have to go out there and start competing in a bodybuilding competition. If you can just start off doing some sort of exercise or physical activity three to four times a week consistently, then this will start to really boost all those chemicals in your body, which will make you feel more confident confident in this area plus you'll start to see the results over time which once again will really help you feel that you're starting to achieve those goals as an alpha male. Number seven, take her hand and lead from the front. This is actually a really kind of simple way to come across as an alpha male on a date even if you don't feel that you are typically what an alpha male should look like is simply take a woman's hand and lead her. Now, whether you're taking her hand to lead her upstairs, downstairs, or through a crowded room, what this does is it shows that you're in control and you're there to guide her and keep her safe. Do not allow us to lead. Even if you are dating someone that is a strong, independent woman, at the end of the day, she will always want you to be the leader on the date. And a little tip here, don't just wait for people to move aside, especially if you're in a really sort of crowded space like at a concert or maybe a bar. Grab her hand firmly so that she feels secure and then push through the crowd, checking back every time to make sure that she feels okay. You know what? This is actually such a sexy thing that you can do as a guy because it makes us feel a little bit like a damsel and that you are our hero. Number six, create some chase. If you're too available, then what is going to happen is is that she's going to put you either in the friend zone or in the he's nice but he's boring sort of box. And I know that's hard to hear, but have you ever noticed when you are too nice or too available that women tend to take you for granted? Don't play games and don't lead her on. Just find that balance between giving her enough so that she wants more, but not giving her too much so that she gets bored. Number five, initiate the intimacy. If you take charge when it comes to initiating affection, kissing, or even sex, then what that does is it allows you to really step into your alpha masculinity. Now, don't confuse initiating with forcing her. This is about, yes, leading the intimacy, but it's not about making her feel that she's being taken advantage of. The last thing that you want to do is come across aggressive or feel that you're trying to prove something. Now, a perfect example of this is kissing her. When you go to kiss her, start off gently and slowly, and then maybe bite her lip towards the end. This is a much nicer a way to kind of lead into taking control rather than just shoving your tongue down her throat. Another thing you can actually do by showing that you're a man who's able to step up in this masculine area and really kind of take control through the intimacy is grab her by the chin and actually tip her head back and then start to go in and kiss her as opposed to grabbing her by her hair or the back of her neck. Number four, learn to command attention. An alpha male is a man whose presence commands attention. Now, whether he's walking into a room full of males or females, you'll find that typically alpha males or leaders are people whose mere presence inside of them make everyone look towards them. Now, it's not because they're bellowing or they're trying to allow their ego to fill the room or they're basically being overly extroverted. It's simply that they hold themselves in such a way and they exude an energy that makes other people take Take notice and that energy is usually around an authoritative sort of feel. So I'm going to teach you how you can actually do that, how you can walk into a room and command attention. The first thing you want to do is when you walk into a room, you want to push your shoulders back and hold your head up a little bit high and pause. You are not in a rush. Assess the room before you and look slightly above everybody's heads or skim over them, not necessarily making eye contact with anyone in particular. You want to have a sense of not only authority, but also notulence. Like, you know that you're there and that you have purpose there, but that you don't have to prove it to anybody. And you don't have to be there if you don't want to be. Then what I want you to do is I want you to choose one point within that room, whether it's your friend at the bar, whether it's the toilet, whether it's your desk at work. And I want you to make eye contact with that point and walk directly towards it, not looking anywhere else and not faltering. I want you to walk there with confidence no matter where it is at that point is. Another few simple ways that you can command attention when you're meeting people is 
to make direct eye contact with them when you're talking, to shake their hand firmly, and also to lower your voice a little bit more as well. Now, what I want you guys to do is your third part of your homework is I actually want you to practice this in different environments and with different people so that you can start to feel at ease with doing this. Number three, make plans. A man with a plan is a man that knows where he's going and how to get there. He's a man that has direction, intention, and purpose behind everything that he is doing, including his dates. This is what alpha males do. They plan everything they need to do before they actually pick the girl up. Coming across as indecisive or wishy-washy when you're on a date with us is going to make us feel that you don't really know what to do, that you're not in control, and that you don't know how to lead us. So, Call the restaurant before you actually go there instead of just turning up and hoping that they have a table. Maybe organize a bottle of champagne to already be there so that she can see that you're someone who's able to plan ahead. This isn't about coming across as controlling because you still want to have some level of flexibility to accommodate what it is that she wants, needs, or how she reacts on the date. But at the same time, if you can put some effort into the details, then you are really going to come across as an alpha male with class. Number two, hang around other alpha males. They say that you become who you hang around and that's why it is so important that if you want to really start to embody these alpha male qualities because you understand that it's going to bring you more joy, happiness, success in your love life or just life in general, then it's time to start putting yourself in an environment where that can grow and develop within you. Hanging around alpha males will help produce a little bit of healthy competition, making you want to step up your game more and maybe push you to a new direction direction that you thought was never possible. Now, if you're not sure where to go to find other alpha males to hang around, then a couple of things that I would suggest is look at what typical alpha male qualities actually have. And that is competition, that is leadership, and that is also self-development. So some of those sort of areas where these alpha males might be because they have those qualities would be sporting complexes or the gym or maybe business seminars or personal development events and workshops or even online groups of entrepreneurs. Do your research on where you think these men would be, then join a couple of those groups or simply hang out at those venues. And number one, stop apologizing for who you are and letting people walk all over you. One of the key qualities that a true alpha male has is he has a deep sense of certainty about who he is and what his purpose is in this life. And that means that he's actually comfortable with saying no to people and not giving a damn about what it is that they think. One of my favorite quotes actually came from a female Lisa Nichols and she actually said life changed for her when she learned to stop asking for permission and instead gave notice. So what I want you to do is I want you to start giving notice on some people or some dreams that you have and to start stepping into that authority that you have deep within you. Alpha males aren't people pleasers. They're not bothered by other people's opinions because they're not trying to fit in. They're trying to stand out and they're the sort of men who aren't afraid to sit alone at the table if it means that they're going Going to be surrounded by less people who actually value them for who they are and what they bring. So what I want you to do is I want you to increase the word no in your vocabulary by saying no to people or circumstances that don't actually serve you. Now, if all of the above was a really good starting point for you, but you still kind of lack some confidence, then what I want you to do is download our free confidence cheat sheet. It contains scientifically proven methods to help boost your confidence when it comes to increasing your masculine energy, approaching women, knowing how to lead her on a date and so many other things that you just won't even think of until you actually read what we have in our confidence cheat sheet. Don't forget your homework for this week, which is learning how to approach other women by watching our video, as well as doing maybe some research on styling tips with Instagram and Pinterest or watching one of our other styling videos. All the links for those videos are in the description below. And remember, being an alpha male with a good heart and great intentions is what is going to change the dating game for you. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a big thumbs up and until next time, bye for now.